How to register a domain name for free. Let's get to it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, so how to register a domain name for free? You can't. <laughs> so I find this a very popular uh, question and search term and I'm very surprised by it because people are like uh, trying to avoid cracking open the wallet and paying like $10 a year for a domain name. The reason is like, look, you can't own a domain name forever. You can only register a domain name for a year at a time. And so like, you'll see a lot of web posts offer a free domain name, quote unquote, with a shared hosting account as a way to entice you to sign up for a shared hosting account because the long-term value of a person on a shared hosting account is quite high, you know, so that's, they just try to make it more enticing to get you to sign up. Now, the reason why in all of my long form tutorial videos here on YouTube it, to recommend people go with Namecheap is because uh, you have more flexibility and you save more money and you get who is protection for free. So those are the three primary reasons. So what I mean is like, look, you get better prices at Namecheap. Like you can register a domain name right now for $8.88 a year. And so like while you can get a domain name for free somewhere else after the first year of it being free, you're going to have to pay a high renewal rate typically. And so typically renewal rates at a web host or like a website builder like Wix or Squarespace is usually like for a .com, it's usually like $17.99 to $20, that kind of range. And so then it's not really free because like, okay, you get it for free for the first year. Then the second year you're paying $17.99, whereas with Namecheap, it's $8.88 a year. So like do the math, like it ends up being the same price. And then long-term, you're spending a lot more money on domain name renewals. Now, I know this is small money. So people are like, well, who cares? It's like what, $5 difference? Well, yeah, but, but if you're like a professional domainer and you're hosting like, you're, you want to buy like 50 domain names, like prices matter in, in terms of like selling domain names. So that's why people are a little bit price sensitive. But more importantly than that is like, it just gives you more flexibility because here on YouTube, I've used my personal name for a lot of tutorials and I've moved it around with ease. Like I've used it for Google Sites, Blogger.com, creating a WordPress website say Shopify, Squarespace, Wix. It's easy to move it around when you have your domain name at a domain name registrar because all you have to do is just jump in and update the DNS settings within Namecheap to match whatever service you're specifically using. And that is it. And it's so, so simple. Whereas it can get a little bit annoying and cumbersome. Like say like you get your free domain name at say Bluehost and then you use Bluehost and you're like, actually, I want to use Squarespace. Well, now your domain name's stuck at Bluehost. And so now you have to like update the DNS settings and use Bluehost as your domain name registrar to update everything for Squarespace, et cetera. So it just becomes a little bit annoying and then you're paying up much more expensive renewal rates to like say like Bluehost, for example, or any web host. I don't want to pick on Bluehost because I really like Bluehost. Uh, I like that they offer a free domain name, but just just like all, all web hosts do this where they offer like a free domain name, but then it's a high renewal rate and whether or not, it's same with like a website builder as well. And so that's why I recommend using Namecheap. Now, if you're dead set on like getting a free domain name and a shared hosting account. And you just want to know like what the best offer is. I personally recommend checking out Hostinger because I think Hostinger has uh, the lowest renewal rates of any web host I've seen. So uh, not as cheap as Namecheap, but not as expensive as like some other web hosts and some other website builders so you can get a good deal. But in general, I strongly recommend you use Namecheap to manage all your domain names and you get who is protection for free. And you're like, what is who is protection? Who cares about that? Well, Part of registering a domain name is that you have to fill out specific contact information to go along with your domain name. It's part of the ICANN regulations. And so your contact information is going to be public. And so who is protection makes all that contact information private. And so that's really nice. And so with Namecheap, you get it completely for free, whereas other domain name registers, they charge and definitely with like a web host or a website builder, they would absolutely uh, ha charge and have that be an added value service. And so that's what, another thing that I like Namecheap, great prices, free, uh, who is protection. And then it's easy to move your domain name around to different services, whether or not you want to use Squarespace and then you want to switch over to Wix or you want to use Bluehost and create a WordPress website, whatever. Having, your, having all your domains at a domain name register makes that whole process very, very easy. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So this is Bluehost and Bluehost gives you a free domain name for the first year. And in order to take advantage of this, just click this big green button and then you're going to be presented with their various hosting packages any package you pick, you get a free uh, domain name. They all include a domain name. So we'll just click on uh, plus just as an example. And now when you're on this screen right here, you put in create a new domain name right here. This will register the domain name through Bluehost and will become the primary domain name on your shared hosting account. And then after this, you'll just be presented with the checkout page and just fill out your information as needed. Now over here at Hostinger, Hostinger has a free domain name so you can come to 
hostinger.com, free domain name, or just check the links in the description. And then just type in the domain name that you want. So I typed in like my super amazing website.com. Just click on check it and then it'll come up whether or not it's available. And so right here is how you can register a domain name through uh, Hostinger. And as you can see, it's zero dollars. Now, the reason it's zero is if you get a premium or a business hosting package, okay, for 12 months or longer, then they'll give you the domain name for free. Now it's free for the first year and then it renews at $10.99, whereas with Bluehost, the renewal rate is $17.99. So that's just something to be aware of. So anyways, you can just come up down here, uh, you can click at this add to cart and then you have to purchase a shared hosting account. And so we come down here and so they have single, premium and business. So you have to get their premium or shared uh, hosting account in order to take advantage of their free domain name. And so I think this is a great price. And so personally, uh, I always use Namecheap, but if you want to get a free domain name, you can get one at Bluehost, which is one of the most popular web hosts in the world for WordPress or Hostinger, which is a web host and uh, that has a really good uh, renewal rate price. Welcome to Namecheap.com. So this is my preferred domain name register of choice. And to get started with registering a .com or .net, .org, whatever you want, it's very simple. You just come here to the search bar and just type in the domain name that you want to register. So I'll type in uh, superamazingblog.com. We'll just see if this is available. I'll click the search icon and here we go so now once you search for this at a domain name register any like godaddy they're all the same it'll give you a page telling you that if it's available or not and so superamazingblog.com is available to add to my cart right now but if it wasn't available that means that i would need to come up with something else now i strongly recommend that you get a com for your first website but there are a bunch of other domain extensions you should be aware of like .net and .org as well. They're slightly more expensive. There's also .co. Uh, there's a bunch of different domain name extensions, but you know, for generally speaking, most people, you're best off with just getting a .com. Now with Namecheap, it's really helpful because it does have a beast mode right here. So you can kind of jump in and get a little bit more specific on what you're looking for. So you can search for through 479 TDLs. So that means like top level domain name extensions. So if you want like .ai, uh, .studio, et cetera. Then over here, you have different options to show like show premium domain names for example premium domain name is like a high priced in demand domain name like uh you know blue.com <laughs> like really that would be like a premium domain name that would be worth actually millions of dollars and then you can uh use this tool over here like domain hacks drop the last file to come up with like different domain combinations if you can't get like if you the domain name that you want you can't get and you need to come up with something else etc anyways we'll turn off beast mode and we'll just go ahead and add this to our cart Okay, so then you just click on view item and let's go to the checkout page. Okay, and so right here, the domain name registration is for one year. And so we can set this up to a max of 10 years in advance. You can have auto renew on or off if you want. I personally like having it uh, off because I like getting the email saying, hey, this domain name is expiring. So, you know, that's really helpful because sometimes you'll register a bunch of domain names and like one you just don't like anymore, you don't want. So it's kind of annoying if you like your auto renews the domain name that you want to expire. And then right over here, you have who is guard for free and it's enabled and it's free forever. And that is it. And so just confirm your order and then check out, you know, fill out your, you know, create a name tube account and then fill out your payment information. And it's really that simple. And so just to be aware of their renewal prices right here, Namecheap.com slash domain names. They have an entire list of their TDLs over here, the register price and the renewal price over here. But please note that even though it's like $12.98, the renewal price is a little bit higher. You can lock in this $8.88 price for 10 years in advance and you get who is per card for free. Because this is a big deal because most like most of their web hosts, most of their domain name registrars, most website builders, they will charge you five dollars plus to enable like who is protection. So it's already included with the purchase price. So you can come into Namecheap, you know, you can register your domain name for like five years in advance. You get who is guard for free and you're good to go with this. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Hit that like button. My name is David, WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.